the coming of the Lord, and you also have our being gathered to him. Now, listen as it reads on. We ask, we ask you, brethren, not to become easily settled or alarmed by some prophecy, report, or letter supposed to have come from us, saying that the day of the Lord has already come. Now, first of all, if they are believing that the day of the Lord has already come, and Paul is correcting them, they heard the message that the day of the Lord was coming from Paul. And maybe Paul told them it was coming soon, so they thought maybe it already passed. It says, don't let anyone deceive you in any way, for the day will not come until a rebellion occurs. And the, lawless, uh, and the lawlessness is revealed. The man doomed to destruction. He will oppose, um, he will oppose and will exalt himself over everything that is called God or his worship. So that he sets himself up in God's temple, proclaiming himself to be God. Okay? It says, now, it says, don't you remember that when I was with you, I used to tell you these things. Now, first of all, there is someone who is coming, okay? But he can't be revealed until, it says here, don't worry about it. He says, um, it says, uh, it says, for the day of the Lord will not come until the rebellion occurs and the man of lawlessness is revealed. Now let's go down to verse 5. It says, don't you remember that, that I told you these things when I was with you? Because Paul is reminding them. Okay? And now you know what is holding him back so that he may be revealed at the proper time. For the secret power of lawlessness is already at work. But the one who now holds it back will continue to do so till he is taken out of the way. And then the lawless one will be revealed. You understand? So until the one who is holding him back is taken out of the way, it says, then he, we, he will be revealed. So. The spirit that is holding back the spirit of Antichrist that is within the world is the Holy Spirit. It is holding back all that they desire to do in the world so that they can't fully operate. The one who is, who is holding him back is the Holy Spirit. He is a person. He exists in the world that also exists in the same world with the spirit of Antichrist. One of, a, one of them has to go because a, a time of tribulation is coming. And remember, the Holy Spirit is here for a, a divine purpose. This is not the Holy Spirit's home. The Holy Spirit is here like Jesus Christ is here on a divine purpose. What is the purpose of the Holy Spirit being here? To bring you into all truth. To conform you to the, to, to, to the image of Christ. Why does he want to conform you to the image of Christ? Because there is a wedding that is going to take place. The Holy Spirit is here to prepare a bride for Christ. Now, let's go back to Genesis chapter 15 so we can understand this. Praise God. I will answer questions after um, I finish this because I want to make it clear. Is it Genesis, what? Genesis chapter 15. In Genesis chapter 15, it says, After this, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision. Do not be afraid, Abram. I am your shield, your very great reward. Abram said, O oh, sovereign Lord, what can you give me since I remain childless? And the one who will inherit my estate is Eleazar of Damascus. 
Now, if I was to go to Israel, I would say, if I need help, Eliezer, meaning, Azar means help. You understand? The, his word, God's helper, Eliezer, means God's helper. Okay? Now, Abram, or Abraham, is the one who has this, 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 uh, uh, friend, or he says, uh, uh, what does he call him? He calls him, um, let's see, the one who will inherit my state is Eli. He just calls him Eliezer of Damascus. So he said, Eliezer, this guy who's living with me is going to inherit everything. God's helper is his name. The Holy Spirit is God's helper. You understand? The helper has a purpose. Now, the story of Abraham is this. Abraham is the father of Isaac. Because we can't go through all the scriptures in 20, in 20 minutes, but we can talk about it. Eli, Abraham is the father of Isaac. Isaac is about to be sacrificed by his father. Abraham goes on a three-day journey with his son Isaac. Okay? Goes on his journey with his son Isaac. I'll give you all the scriptures after. He goes on a journey with his son Isaac for three days. On the way to this sacrifice where he's about to kill his son, he makes his son carry the wood. So, he is on his way to the sacrifice, carrying the wood, which is the picture of Christ. On the third day, he gets to, 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 to the mountain where he tells him to sacrifice his son, and God says, don't do it. So, he doesn't sacrifice his son, but for those three days, in Abraham's mind, he clearly felt that this boy is as good as dead because I'm going to obey God. So on the third day, he got his son back the same way God the Father received his son back. Now, let's talk about after they get back home, okay? Because when they go back home, Isaac is not mentioned, but there's more to this than that. Let me, let me get the exact scripture here because I want us to talk about where he... Yes, we are still in Genesis. We're going to stay in Genesis. Now, let's talk about chapter 24, verse 2 through 4. Chapter 24. Genesis chapter 24, verse 2 through 4. I'm going to start in the song. It says, Abraham was now old and well advanced in years. And the Lord had blessed him in every way. He said to his chief servant, we now know the chief servant's name, right? Eleazar, to the chief servant in his house, the one in charge of all that he had. He says, put your hand under my thigh. I want you to swear by the Lord that God, the God of heaven, and the God of earth, that you will not get a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites, among whom I am living, but will go to a country and my own relatives and get a wife for my son Isaac. <coughs> His name is Eleazar, which means God's helper. The Holy Spirit name is the helper. Or the counselor, okay? So now, the helper, or Abraham's helper, has a mission that Abraham sends him on. The mission is to go and bring my son back a wife, okay? The Holy Spirit's most important mission on earth is to gather up a bride and bring the bride back to the Father. 